If your only experience with a compiler is using the glorified linter, commonly known as TypeScript, then you're in for quite a treat here. We're going to be talking about some of the distinctions between interpreted languages and compiled languages. On the one hand, we have interpreted languages like Python or JavaScript. Uh, examples of some compiled languages would be things like Go or Rust. C fits into that compiled language standard. The primary distinction for interpreted versus compiled, although this line occasionally gets a little bit blurry, is that interpreted languages have some sort of interpreter that runs and executes the code line by line. Now, that's not really true anymore. Computers are much more complicated than that, and we figured that running things line by line actually makes stuff really slow and bad. So lots of languages have things like just-in-time compilers or JITs. Let's leave those aside. We're going to talk more broadly in the sense that if you run Python and you're walking down the file and you run into a function that doesn't exist, that's when you're going to get the error. It won't happen when you first run Python my file. It will happen later. Compare this to compiled languages, which generally speaking have some sort of compiler that actually checks some sort of type system when they're done. That type system can range from incredibly elegant and beautiful, like OCaml, to simplistic and painful to work with, like Go. Shout out to Lane for this diss. Either way, the compiler is going to do some checks ahead of time, turn your source code into some sort of executable, and then allow you to run that executable directly. In general, compiled languages are a bit more performant than interpreted languages. Now there's a huge range here. Some compiled languages are still very slow and some interpreted languages have gotten very fast. It's not always that every piece of code written into compiled language is going to beat an interpreted one. However, generally speaking, you should be comfortable saying a compiled language probably faster than interpreted. As I mentioned previously, one of the other things that's quite nice is that a compiled language will let you know that there's an error at compile time rather than waiting until running into that problem during execution. Now, there's different classes of bugs that can be caught by compilers. You'll find that the C compiler often does not help you, but you'll find that the C compiler generally does help you with certain things like functions that don't exist, fields that don't exist, or variables that don't exist. It, it is able to catch those, and that is quite helpful during the development cycle. One of the other benefits of compiled languages is that, generally speaking, you can run or execute the binary without bringing the entire language to another computer. So, for example, when you download an executable from the internet, just any old website, and you just run it because it says .exe, what could go wrong? That's a compiled language building that so that it can be executed on another computer. As opposed to if you download a Python script, you're going to need Python on the host program to run that script. Some cons for compiled languages is that depending on the size of the project and the compiler itself, the compilation step, the, the, the part that takes your source code and turns it into something that can be executed can take a long time. I know people for whom this XKCD meme of doing whatever they want while they're waiting for things to compile would be an acceptable behavior at work because they literally can't do anything until the compilation step is done and it could take on the order of minutes or hours. The other con that defenders of interpreted languages will often make is that when you have a compiled language, you always have to fix all of the things the compiler is warning about before you're able to execute anything. This can be kind of annoying if you're trying to iteratively test some small thing and you know you're only going to run over this part of the code, you might not care that other parts of your product are now erroring. You just want to test this little block. And it is true that a compiled language will then just prevent that from happening. So there is something to be said about a rapid iteration speed that sometimes an interpreted language might make easier to do than something that's more statically typed and compiled.